Peggy 18. September 1998. Resident Evil 3 takes place behind the scenes of Resident Evil 2. The game is set in the same place, Raccoon City. The protagonist is Jill Valentine from Resident Evil. Jill was in Raccoon City to try and expose Umbrella's conspiracy. But she was too late and ended up having to plan her escape. She meets Carlos Oliveira, who helps her try to escape. And the two of them discover a plan to wipe Raccoon City off the map with a missile. They manage to escape from various enemies, overcome the terror of the T-Virus, and repel Nemesis, the monster that's been tracking them. But the helicopter they plan to use to escape is gone. Luckily, another guy in another helicopter shows up to rescue them. You might recognize his beard. After the escape, Raccoon City is hit by a missile. And with that, is lost forever. Fall 2004. Thanks to his experience in Raccoon City, Leon S. Kennedy, the rookie cop from RA2, was made into a special agent under direct command of the U.S. President. His mission is to save Ashley, the President's daughter who's been kidnapped. The game is set in a poor European village. There, Leon meets with someone from his past, Ada Wong, the spy who was thought to have died in Resident Evil 2. Ada is acting under instructions from Wesker to retrieve a plaga, a parasitic organism that's been discovered in the village. These Plaga cause all sorts of problems. Plaga take control of the humans they infect, and act under the orders of those infected with dominant species Plaga. Osmond Sadler, the leader of the religious group Los Illuminados, tried to use these Plaga to take control of the world. So Leon secures Ashley, battles his old comrade Jack Krauser, overcomes his own Plaga infection, defeats Sadler, and manages to escape. And naturally, after his escape, the island is engulfed in a giant explosion. Meanwhile, Ada manages to get away with the Plaga sample, which connects the events here to our next title, Resident Evil 5. March 2009. Chris Redfield was in Africa, and there he met Sheva Alomar. These two BSAA agents are the protagonists of Resident Evil 5. The BSAA. The BSAA is a UN-backed organization set up to combat the disasters that have occurred due to Umbrella's activities. Our protagonists take part in a failed operation to capture a biological weapons smuggler. But while continuing to pursue their mission, they discover the conglomerate Tricell, an organization where Albert Wesker is working behind the scenes. Wesker's plan is for complete global saturation of the Ouroboros virus, culling any humans who are unable to adapt. It's a kind of extreme version of survival of the fittest. <laughs> After fighting for their lives, Chris and Sheva catch up with Wesker and finally take him down. And that puts an end to the epic saga that's taken place over these many long years. And hey, the helicopter doesn't even crash. At last, a real happy ending. Twenty twelve to twenty thirteen. Resident Evil 5 may have ended happily, but it didn't end the terror. A series of incidents happened in America, Eastern Europe, and China, all at the same time. Resident Evil 6's protagonists are Leon S. Kennedy from RE2 and RE4, Chris Redfield from RE and RE5, Sherry Birkin, the little girl from RE2, and Ada Wong, the mysterious female spy from RE2 and RE4. Oh, and also, Helena Harper, Leon's colleague, Piers Nivens, Chris's subordinate, and Jake Mueller, who has blood ties to a certain other man. These seven characters find their stories entwined in a tale that's far too epic to explain here, so you'll just have to play it yourself. Well, we've covered all seven games from Resident Evil 0 to 6. Of course, there are lots of other games we'd like to cover, like Code Veronica, the Revelation series, the Umbrella Chronicles, the Dark Side Chronicles, and so on, but unfortunately, those will have to wait for some other time. If this video has piqued your interest in Resident Evil, or if you feel like playing through the series again, be sure to pick up Resident Evil Origins Collection, a single package containing Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil, on sale January 2016. There is no better place to start your Resident Evil adventure. <laughs>